Jungkook majorly regretted what he had done. He sat at his desk, combing his hands through his hair. She just left. I let her leave. F. I fucked up this time. It's dangerous when he start catching feelings. Truth be told that he have never felt anything for anyone except except you. That's probably when everyone was so worried. You both didn't even guess and this girl had him wrapped around her finger. He would have done anything for you yet he ended up pushing you away like everyone else. Maybe this was for the best. He made you act on impulse and acting on impulse is never good. But you made him happiest he have. He have been in a while. He was so torn. He didn't know what to do. He needed to stop thinking about you, about what he could have done to make you stay. He could have just told the truth. What was that? Taeyong asked, storming into his office. You said it yourself. You don't like her. She's too good for me. I don't like her. I am in love with her, okay? I didn't really love Kylie and I didn't know that until I met Wyan and watched her from afar. I was jealous of you. You had her all to yourself. She wouldn't even take a second glance at anyone when you were in the room. He uttered ashamed. Junko could have killed him right then. He swear to God, saying he he loves his girl, Wyan. He lied to you a lot. He told you he slept with multiple different girls when really he didn't. He let you take his chain even though it felt like you may have taken his actual heart. Jungkook told you he didn't feel anything for you and yet he felt it all. It doesn't matter. Jungkook mumbled, causing Taeyong's jaw to drop slightly. She's gone. I can't get back to work. Leave me alone. He rolled his eyes, giving up on his desire to be with you. He decided knowing that you was out there away from him is more important than his self selfish desire to need you. He would probably destroy you eventually eventually anyway. Taeyong left the room, quietly leaving him to be alone with his thoughts. He never speak his thoughts and he will never speak of this. A few days had passed, Jungkook started calling his strippers again. His father kept trying to contact him, but he is still refusing to talk to him. He shut his eyes as he leaned against his hand for support, his elbow resting on the table. He was exhausted from constantly training. Every muscle in his body ached for sleep, but he wasn't giving in easily. Jungkook, you should sleep. You look miserable. Taehyung grumbled as he walked in. Okay, that's it. Taehyung showed his elbow off of the table, causing his head to smack off of the desk. He was so tired that his neck couldn't support his head. Taehyung helped him upstairs. Tomorrow we are going to get Wyan, Taeyong announced to him as he lay in bed. No, he want to sit up but <coughs> grumble in pain instead. Ice and I going to take her because believe it or not, he doesn't like seeing you like this. Taeyong threw his arms up in the air like he was having a tantrum. She's not coming back and I don't want her to. <clears throat> he lied while he pulled the blankets over him. Jungkook know what he said. He wasn't going to sleep but he was in bed so he may as well. You are like one of those depressed people in movies when their girlfriend break up with them. Taeyong rolled his eyes at him. Except you broke up with her. He had to add. I wasn't even with her. Jungkook snapped at him. So why are you upset then? Taeyong shouted frustratedly getting a shrug in response. I'm not upset. He instantly stood up getting out of his bed. 
look she is probably mad but all you need to do is tell her the f truth because i know for a fact you didn't sleep with any girls he sighed a bodyguard came in Theong, she is off the radar. His panicked expression almost seeping out of his, but he kept it together. What do you mean by off the radar? Theong glared at the guy waiting for a response. She either killed her tracker or someone killed her. Jungkook's heart stopped for what seems like a year, but was less than a second. Fear began to overwhelm his as his thought of the hundred of things that could have happened. I need to train. He stood up, his face became pale from what he had just heard. That's not a good. Don't tell me what a f good idea thing or I'll take that cast off your arm and f beat you with it. He snarled at him, cutting him off. Tiong blinked at him a few times before letting him pass. Jungkook end up, ended up leaving. Leaving and going to the training base, you must have found your tracker. You you can't be dead. There's no way he would let this happen. I might or might not have something to admit. Hayes star stared at you as you both walked down the road together away from the skull. What's that? You cushioned him, not sure what he was going to say. My name isn't Hayes, it's Felix. You heard him say Felix. I am the leader of the Vipers. He smirked proudly as he watched your calm expression grow into fear. That's, you know who I am? You said with a breathy voice, trying to understand what he had just said moments ago. You don't seem to realize you have real talent. He spoke confidently while talking about you. So why didn't Jungkook accept you onto his fighting squad or was that just not an option? He questioned with a cheeky pout. Jungkook had never mentioned putting you onto a squad probably because he thought you was weak. I don't know. You muttered honestly to him not wanting to lie. He obviously had a spy on the inside but you knew the spy wasn't the, that close to Jungkook or else Felix would have known about you and Jungkook's fling. You had heard about the Vipers all throughout your life. They have some of the best assassins to ever exist. Felix smiled mischievously before saying, We want you to join us. I, I don't know. You uttered worriedly and unsure. You had a sinking feeling in your gut just at the idea of it. Here, Felix grabbed your arm, sending shivers up your spine. He took out a small, Small pocket knife, you immediately squeezed your eyes shut. Relax, he chuckled, cutting into your arm. You didn't even flinch at him, piercing your skin with the little knife. He pushed a tiny metal thing out of your arm and slammed his foot against it. What was that? You gasped worriedly, staring at the tiny little object that just came out of your arm. It was your tracker. Felix stared at the crushed up piece on the ground. You stared at the cut, getting flashback of your father and how he started using knives on you when he realized you was becoming immune, almost for his beatings. YN, Felix grabbed your attention again. It's not definite, okay? You can stay for a few days and see if you like being a fighter. Felix offered, sounding like he was trying to pursue you into going with him. You are not going to like growing up in a family of boys has taught you to how to punch really well. And you can take hits as well, mainly due to your... Your father punches didn't really phase you anymore, plus what you have got left. You don't feel like going home to a family that doesn't want you. Okay, you said hesitantly, unsure if the decision you was making was right. You desperately wanted to have a purpose you wanted to be wanted. Your father didn't want you and Jungkook just used you. Third time a uh, charm, right?
Felix took you to a building similar to Jungkook's. Our mafia is called the Vipers, especially because we are all quite fast and sneaky. It's okay if you are not perfect at everything. First time around, you will get there eventually. He explained positively as he showed you around. He showed you the. He showed you the room where they spare boxing, throw knives, shoot, and they also did pain tolerance test. I'm not much good at fighting, you admitted shyly as you both walked around. That's fine, you'll probably exceed at everything else. He smiled at you, making you feel better about this whole situation. You was basically thrown out from one mafia into another within two days. Is that why Jungkook wouldn't place you onto the fighting squad? Felix raised his eyebrow at you. Yeah, I think so. You lied while staring at the floor. This is Nina. She'll be showing you to your room. Felix introduced you to a tall, white-skinned girl with tightly curled hair that rested just above her shoulders. She looked really, really intimidating but was actually really nice so far. She looked early similar to Felix from her facial features and smile. Hey, I'm Nina, as Felix said. She rolled her eyes at him, earning a smile from you. Felix doesn't usually recruit new people. Like this, maybe it's because you are really pretty. Nina raised her eyebrows at Felix. She is good at knives. Felix smirked confidently. Oh, so you are good at Felix's speciality. Nina smiled at you. Better. You winked at her. You let out. Uh, you let a jiggle slip before seeing Felix an impressed look. He knows it too. You smiled at Felix jokingly. He grinned and rolled his eyes before saying. I have never actually seen you throw. I'm just going off of someone's word. Felix gla glared at you playfully. I can't take any more of this flirting. Nina strolled out of the room. You coming? Nina asked you. Yeah, you jogged after her leaving Felix behind as he watched you run after her. We weren't flirting back there, just so you know. I wouldn't want to get his hopes up, you quickly said, hoping not to give her the wrong idea. That was flirting. Nina snickered. Felix likes you though, I can tell by his extra cocky attitude. She admitted to you as you both walked down the hall of bedrooms. At least you are amused, assuming they are bedrooms. Is he not always cocky? You asked, confused. I'm his twin sister, trust me. Nina rolled her eyes at the thought of her twin brother but also had a slight smile which told you they got along. You immediately erupted into laughter. What is she? She, she chuckled at you laughing. I thought you two had a thing. You leaned into her shoulder while laughing. She threw you a disgusted look before shaking her head. Ew, that's so gross. She raised an eyebrow before shuddering after you both finished laughing. Felix requested to have your room next to his, so enjoy. She, sh she uttered sarcastically with a wink before opening your bedroom door. The room was nice, very bland, but nice nonetheless. You sat on the bed as the misty smell of the room overwhelmed you. You couldn't get Jungkook out of your head, but you had no choice. You just had to suck it up for as long as you could. It's a new chapter of your life and you don't need him in it, but the thought of him was making you painfully. Painfully horny, you know for for a fact he's amazing in bed just by what he could do with his fingers. Plus he he's had practice a lot of practice. You wondered if Felix is good in bed.
All right, new recruits is official training starts tonight. We will find out what your specialty is, but we will start with knife throwing, which we need more people in if we want to become better than Jungkook's mafia. Felix smiled cheekily at you through the crowd of people. Someone told Felix you was good at knife throwing, which was true. You. You was really good. It was probably you f your favorite out of all of them. After this, it's hand to hand a combat. I want to see how much you know before training, and then we will progress from there. Felix announced before taking all over to the knife throwing area. All lined up one by one, throwing knives at pe at the people. You were doing. You it on the baby course and people couldn't even get the knife to stick to the f board. If any any of you guys can make this throw, I'll take you to the advanced course. Felix teased you, knowing you wanted to go to the advanced course to check it out. Plus, you hated the baby course; it was too easy. It was finally your turn. Your brother taught you a. Uh, your brother taught you. Saying for throwing knives, one for the heart, one for the head, and one for wherever you wanted to hit. You took grip of the knives. You threw the first one, landing dead center of the heart shape drawn on the wood. Felix nodded his head in approval, but you don't think he was impressed. It takes a lot to impress a mafia leader with your skills. You. You need to have what they are looking for. If you don't well, then that's unlucky. Next, you flung the knife into the head, and then the last one into his throat. Felix Felix smirked before wiping it off his face, so you couldn't say it. Why did you choose the throat? Felix smirked, questioning you, even though he knew exactly why you did it. So that he can't scream for help and he bleeds out faster. You announce confidently in front of the group. Well, she's Felix's favorite now. You heard someone scoff. Correction, you was already his favorite. It's weird how quickly Felix changed. Everything about him shifted. Shifted from his personality to his attractiveness. Yes, you did find him very appealing, but unlike Jungkook, you are not going to keep your distance if you ended up catching feelings for him. You'll let him know. Now it's time for the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Felix was almost warning all. I'll put you up against each other and then up against one of my best trained people to see how you manage against them. As Felix put it, you watched a few people fight. They were definitely better at fighting than knife throwing. You was going to have to step step up your game. Wyan versus Taylor. Felix announced, scanning the crowd looking for you. Yeah, you slipped under the ropes and into the ring. Also here, Taylor, a girl with short blonde hair, entered the ring. You can take her, hopefully. You are fighting each other, bare knuckles. Felix smoked evilly, so enjoy. You heard a bell ring. You got into your fighting stance and squared up to her, trying to be intimidating, intimidating as possible. You didn't show an ounce of emotion. You couldn't give off an subtle hint that you was about to swing. She stepped forward, throwing her fist towards your face. You managed to dodge it, but barely. You hear gasp from the crowd. Crowd of newbies, you roll your eyes at Taylor, who let the smallest smile slip. She stepped forward again, so that was your signal. She was about to punch. You ducked under your flying arm and forced your fist up into her jaw, uppercutting her. She stumbled back in a doze and confused. You let her gather herself. She held her jaw in shock at how powerful. How powerful it was. She was probably expecting you to be weak since you are de decently skinny. She swung at your, her fist colliding with your cheek. The next thing you knew you was staring to the side looking down at the floor with blood dripping from your mouth. That's when you realize she has trained in boxing before. Everyone was was watching intensely as the tension grew bigger. She just pissed you off. You immediately stared at her, catch, catching her off guard. She thought it would have hurt little. Did she know? 
your father hits twice as hard you was light on your feet you wasn't about to let her win she looked more confident in herself let's wash that off her face you forced you forced her into a corner before hitting a brutal shot to her ribs she winced in pain almost falling to the ground you took that opportunity to knock her out you immediately threw your fist at her ear your punch connecting with her cheek she fell to the floor with a thud knocked unconscious you stared at the group who were in shock with their jaws open you touched your lip with your fingers only to see blood covering them am i bleeding badly you asked felix who looked a bit pale yeah can't you feel that he stared at you worriedly nope you shrugged wiping your lip with your own wrist come on let's get you cleaned up continue the rounds felix announced to one of his worker yes boss the guy practically sprinted over to the bell at felix's order